from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, November the 20th, 2024. An Israeli reserve soldier was killed during fighting against terror group Hamas in Gaza yesterday. He is 21-year-old Sergeant First Class in Reserve Roi Sasson. And an IDF reservist was killed during fighting against terror group Hezbollah in southern Lebanon earlier today. He is 22-year-old Sergeant First Class in Reserve Eitan Ben-Ami. Hezbollah continues to bombard Israel with rocket and drone attacks, including today a barrage of rockets that Hebrew media said landed next to an empty kindergarten in the city of Akko, causing damage but no injury. Another rocket barrage hit a home in Kiryat Shmona, causing damage. Israel's Air Force said that since this morning, it intercepted five unmanned aircraft launched into the country from Lebanon, also noting that last night it intercepted a UAV from the east. The IDF continues to respond to the attacks from Hezbollah, eliminating terrorists and terror infrastructure. Meanwhile, U.S. Special Envoy Amos Hochstein has been in Beirut in an effort to reach a truce with Hezbollah. Hochstein is expected in Israel later today and will reportedly meet with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu tomorrow, Thursday morning. The United States vetoed a United Nations resolution that called for a ceasefire in Gaza because it did not make the release of the hostages still held in Gaza a condition of that ceasefire. The resolution said it demands an immediate, unconditional, and permanent ceasefire to be respected by all parties and further reiterates its demand for the immediate and unconditional release of all hostages. But it did not directly tie the hostages' release to the ceasefire. The Security Council voted 14 to 1 in favor of the resolution, but it was not adopted because of the U.S. veto. Israel's ambassador to the U.N., Dani Danon, after the vote said, I thank the USA for vetoing the Security Council resolution that called for a ceasefire that is not conditional on the release of the abductees. We will continue the fight until everyone comes home. The American Jewish Committee wrote, We thank President Biden for showing moral clarity by ordering a U.S. veto of this UNSC resolution. There can be no ceasefire without the release of all of the hostages. The UNSC should not be considering a resolution that does not make explicit mention of that fact. First Lady, wife of Israel's President Isaac Herzog, Michal Herzog, joined a silent gathering outside the president's residence in Jerusalem today. The Times of Israel reports these silent sit-ins have been taking place in various locations, including outside the prime minister's residence for the last three weeks, to call attention to the hostage crisis and show support for hostage families with hundreds dressed in white, sitting in silence together with the mothers of hostages. The 101 hostages who remain held by terror group Hamas in Gaza have now been captive for 411 days. And with today being World Children's Day, Israel's official ex-Twitter platform reminded the world of the child hostages still being held in Gaza, writing, Don't stop talking about Kfir and Ariel Bibas. Kfir and Ariel were kidnapped along with their mother and father by Hamas during the October 7th massacre, when Kfir was just barely nine months old and Ariel four years old. The Hostage Families Forum writing today, on this day, Kfir and Ariel Bibas are still being held hostage in the tunnels of Gaza by the inhumane Hamas terrorist organization. The focus of the world should be on them today. 
Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, November the 20th. At 7 o'clock, David Harris speaks to Bernard Henri Lavi about his book, Israel Alone. At 7.30, Rabbi Emil Hirsch speaks about Donald Trump's victory in the 2024 presidential election. At 8, Rabbis Angela Bookdahl and Elliot Cosgrove dig deep into the Jewish tradition's treasure trove of wisdom and history to help us through this particular time. At 9, CUNY professor Jerome Chanis talks about JFK and his relationship with Israel. At 10, a replay of Rabbi Hirsch. At 10.30, an encore of the news. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, November the 20th, 2024. I'm Tisha Bader. Am Yisrael Chai.